I'm going to give you a quick idea of a way to make an interesting edge effect on a photograph in a very flexible way using a layer mask. Now, the results I get are going to be very different than what you get because it's based entirely on the photograph that you're working with. So I'm going to give you the basic idea and then you can run with it and see the kind of results you get. So here's how it works. Pretty straightforward. This, by the way, could be a smart object. Doesn't matter. I don't happens it's not, but it could be. So I have my photograph here and normally what I tend to do is start at least with a small selection. That tends to work best. So I'm just going to make a selection of almost everything and then click on the add layer mask button. Now since I'm preparing, eventually I want to print this, I want to simulate what's going to look like on paper when I start playing with this border. So I'm going to hold down the command or control key and click on the new layer button to put a layer below that will fill with white. Now back to our layer mask. Now, of course, normally we could just paint on the mask or do something else, but I want to take advantage of some things that are built into Photoshop. First of all, I could, of course, just change the feather amount in an interactive way. But we're going to use this command called Mask Edge. This is the same controls you see in Refine Edge with a selection, but in this case it's working on an existing mask. So to start off, let's just see what happens if we push the radius all the way up. Well, it goes a little too far in that case, so let's pull it back a bit and then turn on Smart Radius. Ah, there we go. Now you see how it's creating an interesting edge that's incorporating part of the photograph to create the edge. And like anything with Refine Edge, or in this case Refine Mask, we can also do a little bit of painting to see if we can't adjust the edge slightly with this Refine Edge tool. Now, of course, you can also move sliders in here like Feather or Smooth. or contrast. Again, there's no formula here. It's all based on what you want to get. It's already set to output to layer mask since we have an existing one. We click OK and now we can see here's our original. I'll just show you what the layer mask looks like by option or all clicking on it. That has created an interesting border without having to use any kind of paintbrush or anything else. Now obviously the results you get might be completely different to the point where it might not even work because I deliberately picked a photograph that had some stone work in it because I figured that would be a more interesting edge than if it was, for example, I don't know, a blue sky with clouds in it. There's really nothing for the edge to, to detect for it to create that kind of edge. So it creates, it creates a really nice look when you have something to work with. But anyway, that's the idea is you just start with a very small selection, go into the properties panel where it says mask edge and that's where you can start playing around and discovering some interesting effects. Oh, and one little side note, Needless to say, this mask could also then be copied onto a completely different photograph. So you may only use the photograph to create the edge on a mask and then drag it over to a different photograph and adjust accordingly.